Hello, people of the internet. Uh, in this video, there's not going to be any gameplay of this game. There's going to be the crater screen and uh, a little bit more interested in in-depth go on the faith system of this game. Uh, there will be more of the Conan actual gameplay coming up on my channel tomorrow. I just uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up of what we're going into before we actually get into it. Um, but this game has just come out in early access, so when I actually do play it, I just want you to remember that there might be some bugs that aren't going to be in the final version of the game that you might see, but it won't be the end product. And any bugs I do find, I will report to uh, people who make Conan Exiles, and hopefully they can make this game as good as I hope it is going to be. I've played it a bit already, and uh, I will say that the graphics and everything is unreal. I had a bit of an audio problem where I would upload the video I do have of it. Um, but the rocks crumble so perfectly and just everything. It's a very, very nice game. Uh, but we're going to get into it right now, and uh, we're going to be a male, just to show you what the game uh, kind of looks like in the first little bit here. Um, but, um, so I just want to give you kind of an in-depth uh, go on the religion. So the religion, there's not much we can choose from right now. There is three spots that are going to be left blank for when the game actually does come out. But uh, there is a couple of the different gods. That being said... So when you first get into Conan, this is what you see. I'm very, very excited for this game just because of the thralls. The thralls are actually think people or NPCs that you can capture and make protect your base while you're this offline. Does not love men. Shall I cut you down? It might kill you. Now when you first get into Conan Exiles, this is the map, as you can see, it's quite big right now. Um, there is spots of it that are kind of cut off with a green kind of magical filter that goes around that if you actually walk through, you instantaneously die, they don't give you a warning or anything. It actually puts you in a cutscene that kills you, so um, that's quite interesting. But as you can see in this area right here, there's uh, going to be what looks of already a form city so I don't know if that's gonna be like a kind of a trading post or how that's gonna work out I'm kinda of hoping that is because the one thing I liked out of DayZ was the trading post and all the mods like in the Epoch mod sorry um, I love that I love being able to go there it's gonna be difficult to see how it works out I kinda of hope the community of this game is gonna be very nice and um, kinda of, you know not kill on sight and you kinda of, kind of work together in a sort of spe speak but uh, obviously PvP is needed in this game now again, um, the crafting system is very much like Ark. Um, it's got the one side for the crafting, one side for your inventory. You and your whatever you want to know and is in the middle. Uh, there's a level up tab and what you are currently going through tab. Um, the strength and the list of everything is right here. You have unspent points when you get them. When you level up, you get one more point. Uh, you level up by obviously just doing everything. Everything you do in this game gives you experience. Um, the learned recipes, when you click on them, just kind of grants you, like, if I do this, I can now make uh, a sword and have all that fun stuff. Um, but i got to learn it, so I have to unlock it down there at the bottom. And once that is unlocked, and then I level up again, because I have zero available, that's when I can finally use it. Um, now, I'm just going to kind of divvy these out and just get on with it, so I can show you some more stuff. Now, as you can see up in the, the distance there, uh, the land of Conan Exiles is filled with a whole bunch of creatures that just want to kill you. They don't like you, and uh, the only way to get by them is either run or choose to face them. Uh, now, each one is going to be different. They're going to be re releasing more as the game goes on. This one's just seeing me, but as you can see, he doesn't look like he wants to be messed with. Um, now, if we go up here... You can see he was gnawing on his leg. Wasn't enjoying that. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws saw. outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. 
I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. From that guy back there, I got uh, a little bit of a message saying that these things in this world do not like the bite of an axe and fire. Um, now, I, I made myself also a little bit of a, a mining pick down there at the bottom just so I could uh, show you how beautiful the mining looks in this game because the mining is unreal. And as you saw just there, um, whenever you're done making something armor-wise, if you already not have armor on, it will automatically equip it for you. Uh, and uh, it's not all desert. You do have to make your way somewhere. There is a goal to where you go. Uh, the combat system is, you know, it's an early access. It still needs some polishing, but it's really, really beautiful. It's, I like it. And um, just need to get a weapon first before I, you know, show you that. But uh, I just want to show you, as you can see, like, the rocks break in such a beautiful way. They break where you're hitting them. I just, I, I, I just can't get over it. Same with the trees. I don't, I don't really have uh, much to cut right now because I'm just starting out. I'm only level two here, people. But as you can see down there too, the world is also filled with NPCs that are actually humans too. Those are what you who you can capture. Like you can knock those guys out, make them unconscious, and actually bring them back to your base that you make and make them a thrall, which will perform tasks around the base for you. Now before I uh, do end this video, I just kind of want to show you how in-depth the crafting system is just for uh, a starter too. So this is early access day two, and this is our, already what they have. They have some hood ornaments that you'll be able to do, so you'll be able to get some different game posts and really make your house feel like a home. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different harnesses, there's bows, obviously weapons you can get, and defenses, different armor types, flame arrows, and all that fun stuff. Uh, there's going to be different size games that you get, obviously, and uh, a whole bunch of different types of, like, stone brick, because there is no thatch building in this. You, there's not, like, arc in that sense. It's either stone or stone or harder stone. <laughs> um, but, like I said, a whole bunch of different just items that can really make your house just look like a house. Like, there's the altars. So these are the altars that I'm telling you, talking about that you have to either sacrifice or do what that god wants you to do when you pick the religion there's not going to be a certain one type of religion that you can pick you'll be able to switch without the producers have said or the uh, game developers have said um and it won't be uh oh i made the wrong choice kind of deal so like, just look at the weapons that there's duels like those look there's like there's two there like two weapons that you can use like you're dual wielding and like this is still this is just day two early access there's masks you can get there's a whole bunch of different types of shields more weapons there's, there's a keg like it's just really cool they've really thought this out and i'm really getting excited for this game i think it's going to be a great open survival game it's going to be one of the best that i think i've played i don't know if there'll be mounts i'm kind of hoping there will be if they don't want to put them in i can kind of understand why it does make uh, your character kind of overpowered but um i really really am looking forward to see where this game goes if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one.